Okay, hello. Now we need to talk about another very important system, distributed system. So from 7.1.1 to 7.1.6, all of that topic are talking about the centralized system. But 1.7, 1.8, we will talk about the distributed system. So what difference between these two systems? We need to compare the centrally controlled system with a distributed system. And also we will discuss the advantages and the disadvantages about the distributed system. Okay, first, why do we develop the distributed system? We can think about the network of workstation. So each workstation can do the individual work and can share their function. And also like a automat uh, automated assembly line, it has the different function to make a car. And each of these systems only do one thing, but uh, combine them together, they can build the entire car. So what is a distributed system? A distributed system is a collection of independent computers that appear to the users of the system as a single system. To, to clarify the consequence of the distributed system, we compare its uh, uh, character, uh, characteristics to those we find in a centralized system. So in a centralized system, there is a single component that may be the diffuser. However, it's parts such as uh, classes in the object-oriented uh, program are not autonomous. For example, the components uh, possess the full control over them all the time. As there are no other components, there is no need to provide an interface to the component. If the component suppose a multiple user, like a relation, a relational database, the user shares the complex components all the time. A, cin a centralized system running a single process, there's no need to track uh, concurrency, control, and uh, synchronization into account. So there is uh, only a single point of control, the component is in exactly one state that is uh, determined by program counter of the processor, register uh, variable contents, and the uh, visual memory uh, occupied by the process. Either the system is running or it's not, uh, situations cannot occur where part of system or parts of its interconnection have failed and need to recover. But in a distributed system, there are multiple components that maybe decompose the filter. Uh, these components are autonomous. For example, they process full control over their part at all times. The components, however, have to provide interface to be able to use each other. So there, uh, there may be components that um, used by only some users, but are not used by others. It is then beneficial to have these components residing on machines uh, that are local to the user that use them. A distributed system runs in the multiple um, multiple processes. These processes are usually not exactly on the same processor. Hence, inter-process communicates involved communication with other machines through a network, different level of abstraction, like come from the ISO or OSA reference model, are involved in the communication. There are multiple points of control, but these are not totally independent. Components have to take in 
accounts that they are being used by other components that have to react react properly to request. Uh, there are multiple points of filtering a contributed system. The system may fail fail because the components of the system have failed. It may also fail if a network has broken down. It may also fail if the load on a component is so high that it does not respond within a reasonable time frame. Even so, the contributed system is more fault tolerant than a centri uh, centralized one, right? So here are some examples of the distributed system. Uh, low LAN, uh, local area network and the intranet, uh, database management system, ATM network, uh, internet, uh, world wide web, and mobile and uh, uh, ubiquitous computing. We now receive several systems and most of you have they come across already. And uh, we will uh, we explain it one by one. Okay. So we can have the, like a better understanding of these issues. The first one, local area network. From this picture, you can see the local area network consists of a number of different computers, workstations, and a personal computer provide the front end for network users. Different server, uh, different servers provide the service shared service, the print server, work server, uh, web server, email server, file server. So one of server network file servers provides a data storage service. The local name server map machine name to the IP address. One of our server print server control the site to the shared printer. And another component pro provide a gateway to the wide area network. As a user, you need not you need not be aware which machine provides which service. Name service provide information regarding machine by the IP address, username by user ID, and the group name. Local area network can be connected together to uh, form internet. For the database management system, the different client applications want to access and update to share the data in a database. A client applications may be banking system or real estate agencies, airline ticket resolution system, accessing data like the balance of a bank account, detail of a property that are for sale or what to let, or air. Uh, fires and aircraft resourcing data. The database is uh, basically dis uh, distributed over several processors to take advantage of local data access for increased performance of client application. Data may be replicated to reduce the impact of the future of a processor and uh, our the network. Each processor uh, runs data uh, database monitor that uh, Im implants uh, mapping uh, between database themed by client and the physical database stored on a different processor. The physical distribution of data is therefore uh, transparent to the client. ATM ATM network. ATM network enable bank customers to withdraw cash from their bank account. The bank and building societies maintain a large network of the teller machines. Customers have high security, privacy, and reliability requirements. A front-end computer control one of uh, several tellers. It transfer withdrawal requests to the computer of the account uh, holder's bank. Uh, with the bank uh, granting the request and therefore has to be interoperable with the uh, 
heterogeneous computer system. Like we can use the different ATM card through the different bank system, bank in Thailand, bank in China, whatever. Okay, internet and uh, World Wide Web. Internet, make sure you know the internet is the largest distributed system in the world. Internet is a kind of network. So no one can control internet, even USA. And the internet doesn't have any central computer. And the World Wide Web is the largest software application running on internet. It become the most popular distributed software application ever created. Mobile and uh, ubiquitous computing. It uh, extends the size of the internet and the dis uh, distributed system architecture from the uh, wireline connections to wireless connection. We can use the uh, Vmax and uh, 3G, 4G. There are common characteristics. Uh, what are we trying to achieve when we construct a uh, construct, uh, distributed system? Okay, there are some common things we it can be used to access a distributed system. Uh, why do we actually why do we bother about uh, constructing distributed system constructing a centralized system appears to be much easier right just uh, make one server and make others connect to this server and we can use it but actually some properties of the distributed system cannot be achieved by a centralized system it is uh, worthwhile to keep this property in mind during the design design or uh, assessment of the distributed system. First, per terse rigidity, I can access all the documents that are available on the internet, even though this, the documents are located in a different type of uh, machines. Openness, I have a credit card from the K-Bank and the bank in China, and I can use them at each other's teller. I don't need to worry about the, this ATM machines belong to this bank or that bank. Security and like I want to purchase product in uh, on the website. I don't want other people to steal my credit card number. Scalability, distributed systems such as the in internet grows each day to uh, accommodate more user and to we stand high long. Future handling is a tool account database managed by the bank or the quick recovered for, from the breakdown. And uh, concurrency, like a uh, multiple database user can con currently access the updated data in a contributed system. So like a book air ticket, you don't need to worry about the, someone booked you book the same ticket with someone else. And um, uh, transparency, so when using a distributed system, it, appear, it appears to users as if it were centralized. So there are some advantages about the um, distributed system over the uh, centralized system. First one, uh, it Economics, a collection of the microprocessor offers a better price performance, right? Speed, it should be faster. And uh, inherent distribution, some applications are inherently distributed, like a supermarket chain. And the uh, reliability and the incremental growth, on also like um, a computing power can be added to us uh, in a small increment. The modular, right? And the data sharing, absolutely yes. A resource sharing and communication enhance human-to-human -human communication, like email or chat. 
feasibility for sure spread the workload over the available machines, but there are also the disadvantages.